Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul that I'd like to share with you. Uh, but before I get into that, I just wanna apologize for any background noise that you might hear. They're actually prepping the lot directly in front of our home right now uh, to build on. And there are dump trucks coming and going, heavy machinery working over there. Oh my gosh, it's a hot mess. But anyway, I'm gonna just dive into this haul. Like I say, I apologize for any background noise. So let's get into this. So as always, I'm going to start with the food related items. I picked up a couple of packages of the Happy Swing cookies. I found these last summer as well and they are really tasty. They do come in a few different flavors. And the reason I got these is I'm just going to put these in uh, with the end of school year teacher gifts that we plan on giving to a couple of Megan's favorite teachers this year. Her last school day is actually going to be next Wednesday. So that's what I picked those up for. I found a new flavor of Vortman cookies, well new to me anyway, I'd never seen the cinnamon bun flavor before, so I picked up a couple of those. I'm a huge fan of Vortman cookies, I love these with tea or coffee or just by themselves, they are awesome. It's starting to get really hot here in the Okanagan, so I picked up a few bottles of Powerade. Um, Megan and I like to put a splash of this in our water bottles. I am not a huge lover of just plain water and I need to start drinking a little more of that, especially now because it is getting pretty warm. So this is a great way for us to just, you know, make the water taste a little better and we actually get our water in for the day. <laughs> So this next item is something that I picked up last week and they still had quite a few uh, this week when I went into the store. So I grabbed three more bags of the ketchup flavored crispy minis. This is a 172 gram bag. So that's a pretty darn good deal for $1.25, which is what we pay here in Canada. So I got some more of these. So some of you might be aware that I am a proud new owner of a Cricut machine. And I finally took the darn thing out of the box on the weekend and started plan playing around with it. And I've actually made a few little projects with it. So I was really excited to finally do that. I had been totally procrastinating taking it out of the box because I was very intimidated, to be honest with you. I'm not very computer savvy. and <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for an old dog to learn new tricks, right? And but you know that the Cricut itself was actually very easy to set up. You know, it came with very self-explanatory instructions. It kind of walked you through all those steps. What I'm having troubles with is the Cricut design space. I'm finding that really difficult to navigate. Uh, I've watched many tutorials on YouTube and none of them are really, you know, very straightforward or, you know, say do this, do this, do this. And I'm trying to use my iPad as much as possible. I don't really want to use my computer because I want to be able to, you know, set my Cricut anywhere and use it anywhere. So I don't really want to do the whole computer thing. So trying to find instructions, simple instructions to follow have been really, really difficult. Let me know if any of you are interested in me doing a video like that because I know it sure would have made my life a little bit easier if I'd have been able to find a video right from the get-go, you know, Cricut for dummies or something because <laughs> just felt so inadequate and so frustrated at the beginning but I have managed to make a few projects so I will definitely share those with you very soon. So while we're on the subject of crickets I picked up some more vinyl. Now I haven't even made a trip to Michael's yet um, to get any vinyl for my Cricut machine because I've been making do with what I've been able to find at Dollar Tree. This actually works really really well and for $1.25 you can bet that I'm saving a heck of a lot more money by doing it this way than if I was to buy vinyl at Michael's or even online or anywhere else. I've been having really good luck with making stencils with just the shelf liner. I've been having really good luck with using the clear stuff as transfer tape. So yeah, you don't have to spend a ton of money. And yeah, I'm actually kind of glad there isn't a Michael's nearby because I'm sure I would have already gone and got every color of every vinyl I could find. And you know what I mean? So I'm actually, I'm really pleasantly surprised with how well this stuff is actually working. So I picked up a bunch more of that so that I can play around with my sheen a little bit more. I also picked up a little bag of their makeup sponges. These actually work really, really well for when you're stenciling on wood or on um, like a canvas or anything like that and they're so inexpensive you can just throw them away when you're all done and you have nice control over where your paint's going as well. I was really excited to see that my store finally got the little wood slices in so I got a few bags of these. I tried to get a few that kind of had different sizes, some bigger ones, some smaller ones and then I also picked up this bag because I found some that look kind of like little logs because I do have some fairy gardens coming up in the next little bit that I am hoping to incorporate some of these into. 
Another item that I picked up hoping to incorporate into a fairy garden are these little wooden dowels. They're actually fairly thick and so yeah, I have something in mind for those. This next item is something that I had never seen at my store. This is, they're calling this a cork ribbon. It's really, really thin. And yeah, it's just, it looks just like cork. So I thought this would make a really nice border around a picture or this might even have some applications in maybe my fairy gardening as well. It might look kind of neat as making like a, kind of like maybe a roof on a, on a birdhouse or something like that. So yeah, I'm sure there's lots of applications for this and there are three yards on there. So quite a bit of product there for, for $1.25. I was getting kind of low in the basic colors of my paint stash, so I just picked up a black and a cream color. So when you can find brand names at Dollar Tree, that's a good time to pick up some of these things. And when you get them a little bit of a bigger size, that's even better. So I just picked up one of these palm olives, and this is the apple pear scent, and it smells really, really good. I needed some more hand soap, so I picked up another one of these from Blakely and Michaels. Uh, these are actually really, really nice hand soaps, and they do come in a variety of different scents. This one is the Citrus Bliss, and I like that they're such nice, vibrant colors. They look great in the bathroom or in the kitchen. I like to put my grocery shopping list on sticky notes because when I go to the grocery store, I just stick this right directly onto the cart and away I go. And I found these nice long ones so I can definitely get a lot of things on here. And yeah, so there are a hundred sheets here from Jot. So the last thing that I picked up was just another package of their parchment papers. I love these things. I use them all the time. They come in 10 in a package. They're great for baking, which was what Megan and I use these a lot for, but they're also great for crafting and they have all kinds of different purposes. So I always like to have these on hand for sure. And like I said, that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. I hope you're all doing awesome. Stay tuned for some Cricut projects coming down the pipe. And until next time, I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.